Can you feel it, Ade? We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. I feel nothing but a hot wind in my ears, Captain. Come on, man. When we take this treasure, we'll be set for life, all of us. Ten times over. As you wish. Ahoy, Roberts! We'll cast anchor and meet ashore. You were followed, Captain Kenway. How long for, I wonder? It's Hornigold! Burn and flay that turncoat. Deal with your old friend in haste, Captain, before I regret my favor to you. Captain, think carefully about what you mean to do here. What are you grousing about, Ade? It's Ben Hornigold, come to kill us out there. Aye, and the traitor needs to die. But what then? Can you say with certainty that you deserve the observatory more than he and his Templars? No, I can't, and I don't care to try. But if you've a better idea, by all means, tell me. Forget walking with Roberts. Tell the assassins. Bring them here, and let them protect this place. Aye, I'll bring them here. If they're willing to pay me a good sum for it. There's Hornigo. Getting close. I do not think we can stand against them, sir! will be coming back. Get him from here! 
I know this bastard, and I've seen what he can do. He'll be after me, sure as I'm standing here. Hold your ground, and be ready for anything. Could have been a man who stood for something. But you've a killer's heart now. With nothing but metal to show for all your blunders. Tamside better than you, Ben. The heart of a traitor who thinks himself better than his mates. Aye, and proven true. What have you done since Nassau fell, huh? Nothing but murder and mayhem. You flew in with the very kind we once hated! No! These Templars are different. I wish you could see that. But if you continue on your present course, you'll find you're the only one walking it. With the gallows. At its end. It may be. But now the world has one less snake in it. And that's enough for me. Things are quickly spiraling out of control for good old Edward today, having lost most of his allies on the self-destructive observatory quest. He's now forced to side with Black Bart the Sage on the matter of finding the site, but before he's able to do that, he has to go deal with another old friend of his, Ben Hornigold, who took the King's pardon earlier in the game and was cast out as a traitor from Nassau. Since his old allies now don't want him, he took his knowledge of the pirate's clan to the Templars, which they quickly accepted, and furnished him with a new crew, vessel, and death wish for Edward Kenway. Black Bart sends Edward on to take care of Ben before the pair of them can continue seeking out the fantastical treasure, and he agrees because this jerkwad has had it coming for a long time. Ubisoft might have known this too, since they put the player through a lot of hoop jumping just to find Ben, not to mention also killing his dopey ass. Since this is part of Black Flag's late game, the player can be put in two positions at this point, either having ground up enough of the trading and side quests to have amassed a gold pile big enough to afford a leveled up jackdaw, or they just did the story missions and little else and they keep getting told to upgrade the jackdaw using resources they don't have. 
I was in the latter category and ended up ballsing up this mission a couple times because one of Black Flag's annoying type of missions is actually an old version of a World of Warcraft set piece where the game will plant a huge objective area somewhere and force the player to look for the quest item in that area. In this case, it was Hornigold's flagship. Without that, the fleet Hornigold brought with him will have no clue of how to continue looking for Edward and they'll be free to continue looking for the observatory. What really kicks the player's teeth in on this part of the mission is that Hornigold isn't alone out in the high seas and you'll either attract a platoon of enemy ships to fight while looking for Hornigold or end up antagonizing the ones close to him that'll blast your ship apart for an easy win. It might just be easier to accept a couple quick deaths so the game will reload the player without any enemies beyond Hornigold himself. Hornigold also has a heavily armed ship which will be difficult to take down and at this point in the game my best advice for anyone struggling with this is to keep as much distance as possible from your target and hope for the best. The enemy AI loses a lot more accuracy than the player at large distances and you can usually get in some chip damage with long shots and the time that the enemy has to take to get close to your ship. Also make sure to never ever get broadside with the boat because it invariably works out horribly on your end. Once you get the ship down enough health, it beaches itself on a tiny island of ruins and allows you to get back to a more normal assassination where you'll have to do some usual bushwhacking of the target and sneaking around the lackadaisical guards. The 100% sync challenge of this is to do an air assassination and with the ruined landscape, it helps a lot to outwit the normal enemies and get Ben to an early grave since the ruins walls are short enough to parkour over and quickly get around on. It really is a helpful location for an aspiring murderer and we get to cross off one of the most deserving Templars off on the list. Of course, at this point in the story, Edward has around three real friends left, so things are definitely still on the downward spiral. What sort of well-timed tragedy will befall our badass hero in tomorrow's episode?